Good evening and welcome to the Six Day London. Hello mate, thanks for seeing you here. Hello. You having fun? Hey, Chris is here. Chris. Nice Good. to meet you man. How's Likewise, it going? it's going awesome. This is a crazy event, it's my first time here. What's this all about? Six days are a long time running event. They've been going for over a hundred years. Berlin Six Days, almost 110 years old. And it started on a bet that somebody couldn't ride their bike six days in a row and then it's transformed into a party with bike racing basically. So the riders race six days in a row, different races a night. There's endurance racers, there's sprinters, there's a DJ in the middle, there's food, there's music. It's it's a party with bike racing basically. Oh, it's absolutely crazy. It's great time. Racing. Cheers. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Around the outside here, this is where all the elite riders are sat. Who have we got to our left? Uh, it's my right to be thin. Two riders, riders number 12, riders number 9 and riders number 10. Well, this is crazy, this is like the best sort of atmosphere I've ever kind of seen at a track race. Yeah, so for the bunch racing and like the Madison Chase, they're on a 52-15 and then for the journey they're allowed to ride um, a 53-14 so it goes up a little bit bigger. They are, but they're quite small gears you were just saying. Yes, they are quite small. For track racing, um, usually you ride like um, 90 to 105 maybe. Why, why are they doing that? Do you think they're trying to save their legs because it's early in the week or what? Um, it's like it just gives like the individualness of, of six day racing so they're not grinding gears they're spinning and like it just makes the racing more exciting for us and for the riders well, that's what we want we want it exciting yeah. for us <laughs> maggie looks so big through this lens you're like you take up so much of the screen it's a whole lot of handlebar going on there that's a whole lot of handlebar going on there <laughs> is yeah. it comfortable yeah yeah it must be yeah you're just resting on top of it like hoods yeah how long has the six day been running for like years what six days Six days. That's a six day, isn't it? <laughs> so what's it like racing six days of track in a row? Do you have to take any measures? Do you have to uh, take it easy on the first few days or? We didn't take it easy the first day. <laughs> 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 then right. we learned that on the second day. No, we um, we need to calculate a little bit with the power and uh, go hard some days and maybe stay a little bit more in the back some of the days. We need to work it out somehow. Does that affect your choice of gear as well? No, actually we do the same gear every day. Uh, maybe it could, but, but not yet longer. It's so cool with the music and uh, I think we'd like a little bit more light on the track, but it's, it's cool and it makes a good atmosphere and uh, the public in London is just incredible. Amazing. Well, thank you so much and good no luck problem. for the rest of the days. So basically, the next race is the Derny race. Each rider has a guy on a motorbike, a small motorbike, called a Derny, sitting in front of him. They have voice commands they'll give them. I can't remember what they give them. I think it's normally faster. There's funny words for it to say faster and slower. So they have vague control over how quickly the journey goes. Where before they were having like the fast lap to like 60 kph, this they'll go up to like 70. So odd. fast. 70, okay. Yeah. Having a good derny rider. Um, yeah. Can you get a bad one and then your race is gonna suffer? Like Cam last year, he pulled his foot down, but he had a good pacer and he was able. The pacer was able to slow down, um, so that Cam could still stay in the six. So he identified so, it. Yeah. Some pacers they might not be able to identify that, and therefore, like you would lose, you would lose the slipstream and wouldn't go as well. How's it going, man? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Fancy seeing you here. Is there, I know fancy seeing you. It's quite. Um, Loud in here. Are you racing? Mate, I don't do this shit. I'm a roadie. I'm preparing for Red Bull time lapse. You're tapering? Yeah, tapering. <laughs> you looking forward to it? 
Yeah. We're gonna win. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I went to the gym on, on Tuesday, yeah? I did like squats and deadlifts and shit. You went to the gym? I went to the gym. And I'm absolutely... So that was the elimination race. Final two. Guy with the rear disc wheel won. A disc wheel is always faster in, in a time time scenario. <laughs> Does he have to get trousers specially made? I assume he doesn't do trousers. How would skinny jeans fit those quads? Yeah, and don't then tape all all trousers are skinny jeans fit. You almost can't look, it's like yeah. it's actually obscene, isn't it? <laughs> George has got good leg muscles as well. Yeah, really Very comparable. Yeah, yeah, really head, comparable. Head. 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 Yeah. Um, we want to ask you a question. Yes. Robert, do you have any trousers that fit you? Uh, just cycling trousers. <laughs> it's not so easy to get some uh, good trousers for me, of course. It's always a big problem, but uh, okay, that's that's my job. Eh, so. Do you have to have them especially made for you? So yes. tailor fit? Yes, yes, yes. Who makes them? Uh, in Germany, I have some uh, good people and, um, who uh, make me some trousers. And it's important because it's not so easy. Yeah. That's the answer. There you go. Yeah. Tailor made. How are we doing for it? Yeah. What's the training regime yeah. like for a dirty rider? Yeah. The best training yeah. is on the road. Yeah, really? Yeah, with a light gear. Really? Small gear. Yeah. High uh, your your uh, cadence. Yeah. Must be high. So you have to pedal to get these going, or the whole time? No, uh, we pedal only for the balance. Yeah. Oh, really? In the track. Yes. When you sit still, it's difficult. Yeah. But when you pedal with it, and you can push a little bit when you go for a faster speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. And, and what are they saying to you behind to get you going faster? The only thing they have to say are two things. There's Ale, Ale, yeah. Ale, yeah. or Ho, Ho, Ho. Like <laughs> so, so to be a good journey rider, you say about listen. You will not listen good. And here, and here in the crowd is difficult. Yeah. Because there's a lot of noise. When there is an Englishman attacking, uh, you can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. Good. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Enjoy the last night. Enjoy the last night. Right, so pretty much recovered from the sixth day yesterday. Spent all day today getting ready for Rebel time lapse. We're doing the 25 hour race tomorrow, starting at lunchtime. This is the machine I'm gonna be riding. So I'm back on the road at eight bar, the Comprins. Alloy frame, spin on these wheels. These are the 35 millimeter deep, I think. Super wide rims, 25 mil tires on. I've actually mismatched tires, uh, Vittoria on the back and GP 4000s on the front. Cause that's what I had lying around. George has very kindly lent me another info crank. So this is the same brand that we just saw on some of the track bikes at the six day. We've got 11 speed Shimano, Altegra and Dura Ace mix. Pro components, specialized Roman saddle. Pretty slightly wider bars on this than the gravel bike for some reason. Probably should have done that the other way around, but hey ho. And the standard Wahoo element. It's just got a bigger screen, so it's easier to see in the dark. That is pretty much what I'm gonna be riding with. I'm only using one bottle, because hopefully we won't be on the course for too long at once. I'm gonna go and eat my body weight in food. Get an early night, because, uh, well, tomorrow's gonna be mega. Hope you enjoyed the footage from the sixth day, and I'll see you guys at time lapse.